politician has not tried to hold the prime minister accountable because i understand alagiri most of the times he is either absent uh, from the parliament or he he keeps mum in the parliament but why the opposition has not tried to pin down the government on such a core issue sir i was telling you just hold on it is not true that members of the parliament have not raised the issue the bihar mps have created quite a ruckus in lok sabha i remember it because i have been present in lok sabha when they have been raising the fertilizer issue they have been bringing out how bihar has been uh, discriminated how fertilizer is not available how corruption is taking place in this whole thing the problem is that when this kind of issue is raised it does not get covered in the media no but we are covering it yashwan ji the, the fact is that we put out a massive investigation i don't think uh, you can generalize and uh, you know make it seem as if the entire media is uh, guilty of ignoring this critical issue because we put it on the top of our 9 o'clock broadcast we've invited you we've got devinder sharma joining us from chandigarh as well before i let you go yashwan ji i just want you to explain to our viewers what you think are the next logical steps very clearly there is a loot there is a stink which has been uncovered who has benefited to what extent is not known yet what do you think the prime minister should do after this headlines today broadcast tonight prime minister should immediately order a cbi investigation in the matter let the truth come out and let the guilty be punished uh, also if i can just ask one more final question uh, mr sinha uh, the same junior minister jena who has now put so many dissent notes against his own minister senior minister has also been saying in public that there is a massive diversion of urea which is highly subsidized uh, which is going on in gujarat and he has said this often on record and he has complained about this at the state government the, the state government of gujarat is not taking effective st steps to prevent the diversion of urea for for private industry so i mean the subsidized urea for which the taxpayers are, are putting the bill is being diverted to industries in in the state of gujarat and jena has been saying this and complaining about this in public and saying that uh, your chief minister narendra modi is not doing anything about it ha uh, to so let you ask this question to narendra modi okay let narendra modi or somebody from gujarat answer i can't answer on his behalf because i don't have the fact so but you're saying that on the back of the letters that have been written by junior fertilizer minister shikan jena a cbi investigation not to be ordered mr yashwan sinha for joining us tonight thank you very much i want to go across to devinder sharma he's been going through very carefully all the details that we are putting out before our viewers uh, mr sharma what do you make of the fact that mk aragiri uh, is not responding to shikan jena's letters but what ashish khaitan story does not do is prove in any way that mk aragiri uh, benefited financially very clearly there was this huge bungle because thousands of crores of rupees went to private uh, pockets uh, when they shouldn't have the government should have come down but what we don't know yet is who benefited and to what extent well i think uh, you have said it all uh, because if the minister is quiet uh, the bungling the huge bungling that has taken place Absolutely. it is quite obvious that he has a vested interest in protecting uh, those, those who are indulging in that uh, loot Uh, but i think uh, first and foremost uh, i think one must compliment the junior minister mr jena i think he has done a remarkable job because i haven't seen many ministers standing up and bringing up uh, these kinds of laws in their own system because they will all come and say no everything is fine you don't have to say we are working and we are trying to investigate and so on and so forth but here is a minister who really stood up and i think commendable job done by mr jena now the interesting part here is that you know suddenly as as your report your report mentioned last year the price in march of phosphatic fertilizer you know incidentally we import about 80 to 90% of our phosphatic fertilizers as far as potash fertilizer are concerned we import 100% of our potash which is about 6 million tons we import every year uh, in case of phosphatic fertilizer it's about 11 to 12 million tons you know we have it uh, we need it in this country now interestingly uh, the price uh, you know uh, per bag of 50 kilos was 960 rupees in the month of march by june it jumps to 1200 rupees and this phenomenal rise there's no reason why it should have risen to that level because the imports were made earlier and those imports came at a cheaper price and then the companies have made profits that's what i think jena is also trying to say uh, you know by by selling it at, at a higher price and even now he is saying that there should be a stop 
uh, you know, you should you should stop the process for two months. Try to ascertain as to where the uh, you know earlier stocks are going, and then to start draw up another inventory, and then to say well, what cost the farmer should be paying. Okay, and I think he has very rightly worked out. Give me a moment. Yeah. We've just He's got some information worked out, uh, coming in that the fertilizer ministry has finally. put out a clarification we've been chasing them for the last several days uh, it's only now after the headlines to the story has gone out that a clarification has come from the fertilizer and chemical ministry and i'm going to quote from this a statement uh, that's been put out now by the ministry says that the change in the subsidy regime was a cabinet decision which in fact brought windfall profits to private companies the ministry statement admits that the government gave in to sustained lobbying by fertilizer companies this is very interesting and that the same lobbying is now uh, clamoring for urea decontrol the statement also says that an international cartel is jerking up prices of fertilizers ashish from what i can make of yes. this statement this, from the fertilizer this, ministry uh, aragiri trying to distance himself saying yes. that the entire cabinet is involved is not just my fault absolutely rahul this is actually not a statement which has been put out by the the fertilizer ministry this is what a very senior official when i was chasing alagri and his office for their version of the story a very senior official i met this morning and he gave me this version as the official version on the condition that i won't quote him and he said that mr alagri actually was opposing the nutrient based subsidy policy which was introduced sometime in april 2010 which he says is primarily responsible for this profiteering and rent seeking by companies he says that alagri in his individual capacity and as minister opposed this policy to the nail he wrote letters to the prime minister he wrote letters to the then finance minister pranob mukherjee but the fertilizer company and the lobby of fertilizer companies they lobbied with the finance ministry and they got a tail made policy the policy which would suit the private companies made in their favor so this is what he told me on behalf of alagri on behalf of the ministry on the condition that we won't quote aragiri himself is in his farm house in madurai we've been trying to chase him down he refuses to come out and face our cameras mr aragiri if you're watching this broadcast and i'm told on good authority that you're aware that we are putting out this story and you're keen on following what's happening i suggest that you meet our correspondent priyamvada when she tries to get in touch with you tomorrow we'd be very keen on carrying your response on this story as well because what we are seeing aragiri do mr devendra sharma is that he's trying to broad base this loot he says uh, that the entire cabinet was responsible it wasn't a decision that i alone as fertilizer minister took well well there is an element of truth here rahul uh, they, that you know the fertilizer industries have lobbied very hard to get into the nutrient based uh, subsidy scheme you know which was started as uh, as your colleague said in 2010 but uh, uh, you know the minister can wash wash his hands off because he is the minister concerned now and you know the, if the if the mischief is happening the last two years when he was the minister he has no reason to say that i am not responsible for it you know what happened at 2010 was definitely a collective decision of the government and i know planning commission played a very significant role in pushing that scheme you know i, I remember i used to oppose that i used to say this is not something that india requires but you know in a, in a, in order to say that we need to reduce our subsidies they went ahead with this scheme trying to set the balance right the balance has gone still more skewed in the process you know because you have urea struck up at a, the prices uh, are struck up whereas the prices of uh, dap and uh, potash have zoomed and so there is a kind of imbalance but which what's is very not, clear uh, is about one not, third of the subsidy ashish is being misused now we need to track who is it who's benefiting why is it the government is turning a blind eye exactly. and what is mr aragiri's role this is, this is role exactly in? what jena has been demanding he is calling for an exhaustive comprehensive audit he is saying that what is stopping the ministry from calling all the records of the companies which could justify the high price at which they are selling these fertilizers and carry out an audit and find out where is this subsidy going well, you are footing 1 lakh crore rupees rahul every year 1 lakh crore rupees where is the money going why is the ministry not carrying out an audit and i will tell you one more point last year the cag carried out an audit not on this point on some other points and the cag on the first page of its report which was tabled in the parliament said that the ministry of fertilizers alagri's ministry did not cooperate in the audit process they did not even uh, participate is... in the exit conference and unfortunately even several reminders went unheeded well so there is a pattern here a it's pattern not here. just rikan jena no, even the cag is not responding very clearly mr prime minister there is a scam here there is a stink of a scam the cbi mr yashwant sinha has demanded should investigate to determine 
who is making money? Why is it that Aragiri is not responding to CAG? Why is it that he is not responding to Shrikant Jaina? There are questions being asked. Those answers must be found. I am going to leave can it I over there. Ashish Kaitan will keep tracking the story, I getting you more developed. Devinder Sharma wants to make a quick final word. I am out of time, sir. Yes, Rahul, regarding the urea, it's not this happening just now. Urea in 2008-2009 is very interesting. In 2008 was a normal year when we used in the Kharif season only 130 lakh tons of urea. In 2009 was a drought year and we used 330 lakh tons of, of urea. Now this is certainly impossible because in a drought year the urea product consumption should have come down. Well, now it's for the government, to, lakh tons. It's for the government now to order a probe. If the Prime Minister and if Mr. Rahul yeah. Gandhi talks of you know, weeding out corruption, ushering in a new era. Here's a good opportunity to start. Facts have been laid out. Let's see how the government responds.